Hi and welcome to part 6b of our series on how to design a CO2 dragster in Onshape. In this video we're just going to be looking at if our design has one of these cutouts on the bottom here. But Also I'm going to look at if we've got any other surfaces um, extruding out past the, the extents of our car. So if I just go into sketch 4, um, what I mean by that is if I move my car's nose so it goes past the past the end of the where we set the length of our car we're going to come into some issues when we go to do the bottom design okay so i'm just gonna that's our car now so what we're going to do we're going to move our car into the bottom design and now what you'll notice is you'll see how that we've got this curved section that's not level with the bottom uh, face of the car and also up here we've got the same thing it's not level with the bottom face so we need to tell the program that we're going to be designing on that same level so what we're going to do we're going to make sure in our bottom view we're going to start a new sketch and we're going to select the the bottom face of the car and now what we need to do is we need to tell the program that we're going to um, be sketching on that level on that plane so what we do is we use this use um, the use tool which projects and what we're going to do, we're just going to zoom in. I'm just going to highlight the front of the car, the nose, and I'm going to highlight my left and right and left edges. And now I'm just going to select each of the different sections as they highlight and the back section. Now what we should see if we zoom back out, we should actually see now that there is this sort of invisible, invisible uh, plane along that edge. So now we can actually design along that edge without worrying about um, the curves. So what we're going to start doing is we're going to start by selecting a, our construction tool and our line tool, and we're going to create a line down the middle, which is going to be what we call our mirror line. So part of what we're going to do is we're going to design one half of the car with the shape, and then we're going to mirror it on the other half. Okay, so we're just going to deselect that tool. Now what we're going to do is we're now going to select our spline tool again, and we're now going to design making sure we don't go into our no-go zone. All right, so I'm just going to zoom in here on the nose a little bit so we can see a bit easier. I'm going to start at my nose, and I'm just going to do this sort of little curve down to here. Double click on the edge there, and you can see I've got a bit of a curve, and I'll fix that up in a sec. And then I'm going to start my little curve on the inside here. I'm just going to click a couple of times. And I'm going to finish it off just here. And then I'll just do a little curve at the back here. One, two, three. Now, if we're not happy with our lines, that's fine. What we can do, as I'm about to do here, is I'm going to deselect and I'm going to just play around with these. So I'm just going to get these curves right. Yeah, happy with that. Yeah, I'm pretty, I might just bring this one in just a fraction. Looks like it could make the car a bit too skinny. You can play around with the handles and the spline points. And this one here, it's got, looks like I'm going to bring that a little bit close to the edge, bring that a bit closer. And I think I'm happy with that sort of curve there. So once I'm happy with my designs, what I can do is I'm going to now select the mirror, mirror tool. I'm going to select our line that we're going to mirror along. So this is the center line. And then I'm going to select each of those lines that I've just made. And you'll notice that they do automatically mirror on the other side of the car. That's all for the design now. What you'll then need to do is go watch the next video, uh, part seven, on how to extrude that. And the, the process will be exactly the same. So we just finish our sketch by clicking the tick and we're all done. Thank you for listening and we'll see you in the next video.